It's one of those days. <sighs> right. Got my hat on. This hat is very necessary today. I think the last time I did an F1 video, it's been a few weeks, uh, I, I wore this hat. So, yeah, uh, sorry I haven't done a lot of F1 videos. It's just I've been at the NASCAR races the past few weeks, so I haven't been able to do F1 race recaps and all that stuff. But we get to do one today, and, um, well, it, it's rant time. So, yeah, last time I was up at 3 a.m. ranting about Japan. I can't remember exactly what I was ranting about, but... Uh, it's normal time now here in the U.S. of A. Thankfully, it's it's Miami. It's only an hour difference from me to Miami. And there's a lot to talk about. Before this race even started, a penalty was assessed to Esteban Ocon. Ocon is the king at penalties. I don't know why, but he finds a new way to do it each and every week, and it's all for our entertainment, so we thank him. Anyways, uh, that was not the only penalty we saw today. It was not the only bad well I guess that was a fine decision because he hit Leclerc in the pit lane pit lane you got to be extra safe there are people walking around there's pit crew members so you can't really mess around in the pit so penalties there are always fair whether it's speeding or whatnot which we'll talk about later then lap one happens and there was normal lap one shenanigans now sometimes we see a spin sometimes we see some people three wide and someone gets pinched or you know someone spins out someone locks up Sometimes we see a dive bomb. Today, it was Lewis Hamilton, of all people. Lewis Hamilton, you don't usually think of as the guy who's going to dive bomb in turn one. But today, Lewis Hamilton was feeling um, optimistic about moving up. He had a good start and decides to make it four wide with Lance Stroll, Fernando Alonso, and Lando Norris. In the process, takes out two cars. Now, Alonso and Stroll had already made a little bit of contact before Hamilton was there. But even if they had it... It would not have mattered because Hamilton said, screw you, I'm driving into your door. Hits Alonzo, who hits Stroll, or hits Stroll, who hits Alonzo. Norris spins out, Norris is out of the race, Stroll limps it back to the pits, but Stroll was out of the race, and Fernando Alonso's sprint race was ruined. Let's see what the stewards have to say about this. Oh, wait, nothing, because they didn't even review it. I get that there's different rules on lap one. They're a little bit more relaxed because everyone's bunched together. More shenanigans happen. But what? <laughs> Lewis Hamilton just sent it and absolutely demolished. Well, okay, demolished might be a little aggressive. Well, he took out two cars. He demolished two cars. Two cars were out of this race because of Lewis Hamilton's overly aggressive dive bomb. And they didn't even consider looking at it. Make it make sense, people. Two weeks ago at China, Fernando Alonso races Carlos Sainz. He just straight up races him. He doesn't wreck him. He doesn't take him out of the race. They make a little bit of contact, door to door, wheel to wheel. And the stewards say, all right, Alonso, screw you. That's uh, three penalty points and what, like a 10 second, 20 second penalty for racing him. For simply straight up racing him. And this week, Hamilton takes out two cars. Oh, I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything. How does that make sense? Someone explain it to me. Okay. And then later in this race, Kevin Magnus, I Okay, here's my wild theory that I'm making up on the spot. Under the safety car from the lap one crash, Kevin Magnuson saw one of the big screens, saw the replay, and then someone told him over the radio, you know, hey, he didn't get a penalty for that. And so Kevin Magnuson said, okay, screw you, buddy. And so every time Lewis Hamilton tried to pass him, he... he did whatever he could to keep him behind him. Uh, Magnuson shortcut a chicane, and he got a penalty for that. That's pretty standard. You know, if you shortcut a chicane, uh, you get a penalty. But 10 seconds for shortcutting a chicane, I thought that should have been a five-second penalty, but what do I know? Uh, then he got a five-second penalty for exceeding track limits. That's a pretty normal penalty if you reach the three strikes and you're out. So, I mean, that's a black and white penalty, you know, that deserved um the chicane once again i think that should have been five seconds but still should have been a penalty he straight up just got a chicane and then we get to hamilton trying to get around the outside of magnuson here's part two of the rant and magnuson just straight up misses the corner just straight up misses the corner takes lewis with him they both go off the track magnuson maintains position 
and they say, hmm, interesting. You went off the track, you forced another guy off the track, but no contact was made. 10 seconds to Magnuson. What? I, 20 minutes ago, I just saw Lewis Hamilton take out two race cars. Kevin Magnuson here just simply missed a corner, ran a guy wide, and you're going to give him 10 more seconds of penalty versus zero seconds of penalty? As I said earlier, make it make sense. Who makes these decisions? Why are the F1 stewards always so inconsistent? It makes me mad. It genuinely makes me mad how inconsistent they are. Just please be consistent. I get that we're humans and every once in a while we'll make a mistake. But running someone off the track, 10 second penalty. Taking out two cars, nothing? What? Like, it makes no sense. Um, I think that's it in the penalties. Magnuson hit with like four different penalties, three, five, seven, 800 seconds of penalties, whatever the maximum was. I'm just kidding. I think it was like 30 seconds, 35 seconds at the end of the day. But anyways, it looked like Lewis Hamilton was going to get a point there. But then I say karma for that lap one incident. He got caught speeding in the pit lane pre-race or during the safety car because they kept on coming down the pits during the safety car uh, due to um, the crash in turn one, and they were just blocking turn one to clean up the racetrack, get all the, the debris off the track. Uh, so he was speeding in the pit lane, and he got a 20-second time penalty. So, yeah, uh, as I said, karma in a sense. Uh, let's look at the results of your sprint here. Max Verstappen won again. Cool. We haven't even talked about him up to this point. We won't talk about him anymore. Charles Leclerc finished second. Good for him. Uh, Perez third, good for him. Daniel Ricciardo fourth. He was up into third after lap one. Perez had a bad start, but then Daniel Ricciardo played the defense of his life, which at Australia would have been a 20-second penalty because Alonso played defense in Australia and got a 20-second penalty. I get really mad about penalties if you guys can't tell. But for real, though, Ricardo played incredible defense against Sainz. Uh, Piastri, they were right on his rear bumper the entire race. And Ricardo was able to hold on to fourth. That's a big point stay for Alpha Tower, uh, Toro, Rosso, Visa, Cash App, Arby's, Hamburger. Um, whatever they're called, that's a huge point stay for them. That's a huge day for Ricardo. This is the best he has looked all season long. Um, he qualified fourth for the sprint. He finishes fourth in the sprint. Big qualifying session coming up this afternoon for him, but great day for um, RB Honda, RB PT. That's what they are officially called on the F1 website. Carlos Sainz, fifth, sixth place, Oscar Piastri, seventh place, Nico Hulkenberg. A couple of points for Haas. Very good for them. Eighth place, Yuki Sonoda. Double points for uh, RB Honda, RP Powertrains. Um great for them. There's your point scores. Everyone else doesn't matter right now. Uh, we'll talk about everyone tomorrow in the real race. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching this video. F1's back. F1's back in the US of A. The penalty system sucks. Whoever makes these decisions, I want to talk to and get questions answered. Apologies for the rant today. Actually, no. You know what? No, I don't apologize for the rant today. It's my opinion. If you have a different opinion, let me know in the comments. We welcome all opinions. Uh, but thanks for watching this video. We've got a NASCAR Truck Series race tonight. We've got the F1 Miami Grand Prix tomorrow. We've got the NASCAR Cup Series race at Kansas tomorrow. It's a busy weekend of racing.